Hey everyone, how's it going? Like Butter here, and today I'm bringing you a Counter Strike Global Offensive video. Now, I've been noticing a lot of new people who are just trying Counter Strike out for the first time, and uh, I thought I would make a cool little video here that shows you something I try to do uh, whenever I have spare time or whenever I'm bored just to kind of practice uh, with the with like the AK and kind of show you in step by step how to do this if you want to kind of improve a little bit now I'm only master guardian elite I think I'm one win away from DMG uh, but I've been I have like over 600 hours in this game and I've been playing it for close to almost two years so I like to think that I at least know what I'm talking about a little bit of course I'm not a global elite but I can at least help the people who are new to the game and don't know the steps to take um, in order to get better so I'm going to show you a really good practice tactic here. Um, we're just literally just going to find a game. You don't have to play with anybody. You can if you want, um, but I'm just literally just going to go into a casual or a death match, go to activity, duty group, and uh, this is where you're going to practice. Now, it's team death match, which is terrible in Counter-Strike, but it's really good for practice because it's, you know, you just keep respawning over and over even if you get killed. Now I'm going to show you guys, you want to just uh, basically get on to, oh cool, Mirage, it's not dust for once. Uh, just go on to Terrace if you can. Um, if not, I think you can, I think you can go on um, CT as well. I'm not sure if they let you pick the AK though in this. I don't think, I don't think they do. I think it's just CT weapons. But anyways, go on Terrace. For some reason, people don't like Terrace. And pick your AK. Make sure you have random uh, weapons off. You just hit F3 or whatever it's set to. Now, um, you got to know what you want to work on. Now, if you want to get better with the rifles, do you want to work on your one taps or do you want to work on your sprays? Now, if you're completely new, you may not have any idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so your one taps are literally going to be when you tap the rifle one time. Obviously, right? That I'll show you right now. Okay. Now the entire game, I'm just going to keep trying to one tap people. Now it doesn't matter how many times I die or, you know, getting, getting killed. Don't get angry over it because you will get the eventual, you know, window liquor that sits there and, and buys an, an auto sniper in, in uh, this, you know, and it, it's annoying as hell, but it, sh it can't, can't let you, um, get too annoyed because then you're not working on this as practice and like I said this is just all practice don't worry about winning don't worry about doing well whatever you need to work on that's what you need to do so um, I'm literally just going around the map and one tapping as much as I possibly can of course in a couple of these situations you wouldn't want to one tap you'd probably want to do like a spray uh, and there you go that's what I'm talking about with the spawn points that, that guy just literally spawned right behind me there's nothing I can do so no point in getting mad um, but just to show you guys the spray and a cool little little technique that I use um, oh well we got out shot there at 16 2 all right let's see I think I see a couple on my radar there might be another one here yeah there we go killed both of them now I'm gonna show you guys in uh, counter-strike it's a little bit different from other games when you're spraying weapons basically each gun has its own pattern and that's the AK's pattern so it's basically going to go up to the left to the right back to the left and back to the right so what you have to do in order to spray your AK is you have to counter with your mouse whatever direction this goes so if this goes up to the left to the right to the left then you have to counter that so what are you gonna do you're going to pull down to the right a little bit, just for a second, a little bit further to the left, back to the right, and then, oh, someone saved me. So I'll show you. Instead of it looking like that all over the place, it's going to look like this, and the bullets should be together a little bit more. Like I said, my spray isn't the best, but... Okay, see how it's kind of like all in a circle, sort of? A little bit there and a little bit there got away from me, so... Um, this is the place to practice that. You can one-tap chickens, too. I've been doing that recently. I know it seems silly, but uh, if there's no players around, I mean, it gives you a point. So uh, there's only five minutes left in this game, but I just wanted to show you guys what I do sometimes when I have time and I'm just, you know, my team's not on. The people that I play Counter-Strike with aren't on. It's probably good to just practice because, as most of you know, playing without a team can be very, very tragic. Okay, one more thing that I'll show you is this move I do with the AK quite frequently, and it's 
right there. Um, all you want to do is pull down, because remember the spray we were talking about, right? Pull down the right just uh, for a quick burst and crouch. And what it does is the crouching actually pulls your uh, spray or your spray down a little bit, so you actually don't have to pull down as much. So if you're like in pure panic mode and you want to just, you know, spray somebody that's up close, you can do that and it works pretty well. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. You're spraying, spraying right, and it's going up. When you crouch, it brings you see how it brings the bullets back down. So. Just something you guys can throw into your arsenal. Like I said, um, I'm only MGE, you know, I, I don't consider myself good at this game. I took a long break and it hurt me quite a bit. So, um, but I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to practice, trying to get better, you know. Oh, shit. There we go. Now, if there's one here, I'm screwed. Oh, he, see, he did good. He crouched right underneath my shot. That's another good thing. Not only does it pull your uh, spray down, but it also, um, you can obviously have people shoot over your head, which is good, too. Well, let's go back to one tapping. There we go. So this isn't a bad map to do this. Uh, I think Dust is, is a really good map to do it on. Um... Uh, Inferno, I guess. Any map, really. You can you can just practice this. Damn, that was horrible. So I'm just I, I was gonna just one tap, but I think I'm practicing a little bit of both here. Yeah, I'm really hoping to get my DMG. I'm, I'm gonna be I'm I'm kind of excited for it because I've never been DMG before. Um, just because I got to double AK, right? And then I took a long break from this game. And then, uh, unfortunately, I, I, like, when I came back, I was really bad. Like, this is one of the games that if you stop playing for a bit, you're gonna, like, lose a lot of your skill and you kind of have to get back into it. Well, I wasn't really giving it, well, it's not that I wasn't giving it a chance. It's more so that I just didn't want to go through and get my account to th level three which you have to do in order to play competitive and competitive is the only reason I play this game it's it's such an amazing like time to play with a group of friends and play at a you know play against other people at, at you know when they're trying as hard as they they possibly you know can and it's great it's fun it's uh, the strategy involved is crazy um, but I just wanted to share this with some I, I've noticed like on uh, stream like my videos or sorry my streams have been doing a lot better my csgo streams i've been getting like a like a decent amount of viewers like we've been getting up near the 100 mark and i know that when gears comes out and i'm playing cs and gears that um we're gonna have like a lot of viewers in there so i wanted to get you guys involved in the cs for those of you who either haven't given it a chance or you know, don't think it's for you. I got a cool little story for you guys before this is over. It's only a minute left, but um, I actually had a viewer um, who was uh, his name. I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to, you know, I'm not sure if he wants me to mention this or not, but um, he actually said that Drew, like, you know, I love the streams and all, but I absolutely hate Counter-Strike. I, I can't play it. I can't get used to it. It's too hard for me. I don't understand. And I was like, man, have you really given it a shot? And I mean, like, really given it a shot tried as hard as you possibly could to improve and you know watch videos and, and really learn how the game works and he was basically like you know no i, I didn't i just kind of jumped in and I, I didn't like what i what i saw and i was like dude counter strike is much like gears in a way of how hard the hard it is to play it's very hard it's not an easy game okay it's not a game you're gonna hop on as i'm saying this i can't hit that guy it's not gonna be a game that you can hop on and instantly do well at it it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of practice, a lot of a lot of exercises like this, what I'm doing, where I'm just basically going around practicing my sprays and one taps in order to understand how the game works. And that er, and, and that's just like the shooting part of it. Like you also have to learn like transitions and like where to go and when to watch which bomb site and it's just it's insane once you throw all those factors into it and the higher you get in the in the rankings the better players you're gonna see so 
I just wanted to share this video with you guys. Uh, don't forget, jump into TDM, practice your one taps or your sprays, depending on what you need to work on, and just use it as practice and don't get mad. Um, I see a lot of people who just jump right into competitive, and it's not good because competitive is one life every single round. So if you're completely new and you don't get the shooting patterns and you don't get enough time shooting the guns, you're not going to improve. It's going to take long. You'll eventually imp uh, improve, but it's just going to take a lot longer. So if this video helped you out, if you're a little bit newer to CSGO or you know, you're know you in silver or something like that and you've been wondering why you haven't been going up in ELO, um, make sure to drop the video a like and uh, let me know if you want more videos like this. I'm totally down to do it. I've been enjoying Counter-Strike so much and it's so good to get back into it and I know I think like next year I think they're gonna put CSGO on the Source 2 engine so it's gonna look completely different and upgraded and stuff so um, I definitely want to put more hours into Counter-Strike than I have been it's just been a really good time we've just been climbing and, and I've just been working uh, as hard as I possibly can to just improve so um, uh, one more thing before I let you guys know, um, another good gun to practice with in this, but it's still kind of hard. So you can practice with any gun, but like I said, in, in, uh, in casual, you, <laughs> you spawn in with armor. So it's kind of hard, like, to even do anything. Like, you, you guys saw me headshot that guy twice, right? It, it doesn't matter, though. Like, boom. Headshot. He knows I have a Glock, so he's gonna push me like a scummer. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Peace out, everyone.